G'day, welcome to Studio Shed, the YouTube Chronicles. I'm going to talk about a product today that I've been using a, uh, an earlier model for years and years, and uh, I absolutely uh, love having it, and uh, I use it all the time. Uh, most projects will uh, involve uh, this product at least at one stage or another. There's this thing here, it's the, uh, the Rockwell uh, Jaw Horse. Now, a little bit of an unusual thing with the name, if you're in America, and you talk about the Rockwell Jaw Horse, you're going to be talking about this model here. Um, this model hasn't been released in Australia yet, it'll be uh, later on this year. And when it does come out, it'll be called the, uh, the Works, W-O-R-X, Jaw Horse. Um, there is a, a model that's just come out in Australia called the Rockwell Jaw Horse, which is a, a smaller brother to this one, and it's much similar to the last version of the Triton um, Super Jaws. Now, I just wheeled that in, um, just for the hell of it, it's got a wheel on it, so I thought I might as well use it. Now, I normally don't, um, when it's in my workshop, if I do have it folded up, I normally have it in that orientation, and then I just pick up and go with it. And, uh, yeah, it's quite hefty, uh, it's not a light tool, it's a... Very stable, heavy jaw, uh, heavy clamp if you like. And it's industrial strength. I don't have any issues whatsoever throwing this thing around, despite some of the, uh, the claims of plastic and things on it. Um, I find these things are as robust as anything. I don't have any issue with, with putting them through their paces. So I'm just going to open it up. Now, to open it up, I'm releasing the, uh, the clamp on the, on the leg. Real leg slides out, folds out, then goes into the vertical and it folds fully into that slot there, and then you do it up again. Next you've got the uh, kick pedal, engages, and that's a solid engage in that position. And then the legs, you can open up, and both of them clamp. swing it over and that's now in operational form. Now, what can I do with a clamp like this? Well firstly let's uh, just go through what we've got here. We have a three-legged device. Uh, despite some people going, why would three legs be stable? It's like three legs are the most stable form for any tool on, on a multiple or a, uh, an uneven surface. If you had four legs, one leg wouldn't be necessarily flat, and therefore the whole unit would rock, would rock. Whereas this, because it's got three points of contact, it's stable. That's why we have tripods which uh, for cameras and things, which are three legs and not four or six or anything. Three legs is the stablest design. We have a nice big jaw here, and that can open right out. Now, you can take the jaw completely off. You can turn it around. Put it back on from the rear, I'll do it very well. And then you've got a good opening. I think it's around about 900 mil. So you can clamp up a pretty significant board in that. And if you want, there is an optional accessory where you can actually replace this jaw with a plywood, uh, one designed for plywood, which gives you even more uh, capacity. But I've been working with one with uh, this sort of capacity for, as I say, for years, and it suited me. But uh, it's horses for courses. Now under there, and I'll show you that a little bit later, there is the, uh, the ratchet, which is operated by the foot pedal. And if I do that from behind, that just levers down, and it puts a 10 times multiplier of the force I put on that pedal to push this jaw along. In other words, if I put a maximum of 100 kilograms of force on that pedal, and that means for me standing on it literally, that would put a 1,000 kilograms of force between these jaws, and it was a ton of clamping force. Actually, 
just hold it and pull it in. Well, in this case, I need both hands holding this board. So I'm just going to ratchet it in, put some weight on it, and you can either do it before or after. Engage the lock, put a bit more force on there, and that is not going to move anywhere. I can move the entire jaw as a unit. That clamp is going to hold nice and firm. And I'm only grabbing by a bit of a corner, and there's still plenty of clamping force in that. To release that, put the switch in the unlock position, support the, uh, the weight a bit because I'm about to release it, and now I have to put as much weight into the foot pedal as what I use to clamp it up, and you'll hear it click, release, and then it's free to go. So big boards, if you want to clamp up whole doors, whatever, is, uh, that's not an issue. Another thing I do with this quite often is I use this as a tool stand. Now, what I mean by that is something like this, which is a uh, steel cutter, or you could have a, a miter saw, uh, a compound miter saw, or something like that. I've got it mounted on a board here, and underneath the board I've got a nice big block that's uh, secured on there. That's going to get clamped in the jaws. And there's another block at the back here, which just rests and supports the back end of the, uh, of the saw on top of the board there. Now, in this case, the height of that is actually set for the super jaws, uh, which is what I've made this for. So it's probably going to be a little bit short for this one, because the jaw horse comes with a, an exceptionally large jaw, which is really cool. But anyway, all I do with that is drop in the jaws, clamp it up, and then I've got a nice stable platform to use my tools, uh, particularly when I'm out on site or... Uh, I'm going to work outside and I want to use my miter saw outside and have you know, a really good sized in-feed and out-feed area. Um, but I, I've got a number of tools that I've all mounted on a board like that, uh, ready just to be dropped into the uh, jaw horse, ready to be used, and uh, as a stable platform. But when I don't need it, I can just put the tool aside and not have it taking up uh, real estate in my shop. Now this comes with the, uh, now I can't really never remember the material type, the, uh, the rubber of the, uh, the jaws. You can actually get them replaced or you can get an optional accessory which is a log jaw uh, which holds you know, logs and things like that when you're doing chainsaw, uh, chainsawing out firewood. You can also replace them with engineering jaws which are actually cast iron ones. And uh, what I was just going to do with this, clamp a bit of material in there. And the top of that is rigid, it's, it's very strong and it's directly above the front legs there. So you can put quite a bit of force down through there and let me grab these. No problem at all using the top of this as an anvil, it's what it's designed for. And I'll just, yeah it should be enough. You get the point. It's, this thing is strong. Now, of course, that was just aluminium, but whatever, steel, whatever. Uh, the unit is also really good for welding up, um, you know, clamping jobs up in it and, and doing welding. And again, particularly in those sorts of situations, I've replaced the uh, the rubber jaws with the um, the cast iron ones. But uh, look, there's a unit there. As you can see they're robust, they're, they're uh, very, very strong, um, but that's getting into the, the, the strength of it. And now I also use these in completely the opposite of way. I use them also in my most delicate situation. And for me that's when I'm actually clamping up pens, when I've uh, turned the nice wooden pen. Because I can put the pen in the jaws and while supporting it with both hands, I can just gently squeeze and use this as a press just to squeeze the uh, mechanism together. So you can be as, as robust or as subtle as you like with the jaws and you have plenty of control over it. Um, so yeah, that's the long and the short of it. I, I think these things are a great great addition to a, to a workshop, um, even for home handyman and things like that. I, I use them all the time for all sorts of jobs.